man what it is what it do y'all today we got another nba player video i should say damn i thought i had a throw up oh my god fuck today we got how good was larry bird actually man i did a couple larry bird reactions before but this guy non-stop right here he's like he makes a lot of these videos you see i'm oh oh Hey, I might do that next, actually. Hey, but let's get to the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know who else y'all want to see next. Let's get it. Was one of the best players to ever touch a basketball. And cap. together with Magic Johnson. Cap. Cap. Johnson, biggest NBA star of the 80s. What made him so successful considering he was quite unathletic? And how would he fare in today's NBA? Did he win just because his teams were loaded? And where does he stand among the best shooters of all time? Watch the rest of the video to find out. Y'all think, think he's a top five shooter of all time? Like, like up there with, like... So, people would say Curry is the best shooter of all time, right? Y'all think he has a chance, or is Curry, does Curry clear him? Let me know what y'all think. A hick from French Lick. Bird was born into a poor family in French Lick, Indiana. A town of 2,000 inhabitants. Indiana? Like a shy, introverted kid who didn't talk much. And he did most of his talking on the basketball court. He grew up to six foot nine and played at small forward. But with his understanding of basketball, he could play whatever position he wanted. Larry God damn, why they all look the same? Oh my God, they all got the coconut head. This is high school? This boy got sideburns. But they, they damn near look the same. They all got like that strong neck with like, with like, I don't know. They look like copy and paste. Larry finished his high school career as the best scorer in school's history. And he could choose where he wanted to go to college. He started playing for Bobby Knight at Indiana University, but didn't like the spotlight and being around so many people. He then settled at Indiana State University, where the pre pressure was much less than with the Hoosiers. Wait, so he didn't he didn't like the spotlight? Or was it too much for him? That that's rare, because you see a lot of like little athletes nowadays, they they love that attention, man. I guess he was strictly basketball. He was just focused on it. Larry averaged 30.3 points. 13.3 rebounds and 4.6 assists in college. The mm. Sycamores were invincible in Bird's senior year and became the number one team in the country with a 33 win streak. Their only loss came in the 1979 NCAA Finals, where they played against Michigan State, led by senior guard Urban Johnson. Wait, is that not Magic Johnson? Who the fuck is Urban? Where they played against that looks just like Magic Johnson. Am I am I tripping? Michigan State led by senior guard Urban Johnson. Despite 19 points from Bird, Magic and his teammates celebrated the title in what was- Who the fuck is Urban? Is that his real name? The All right, my bad. watched college basketball game in history of the So they have a rivalry the since college. Player of the year, leaving Indiana State as the fifth ranked NCAA scorer of all time. He was already drafted as the Boston Celtics selected him in the NBA draft in 1978, hoping that Bird- What pick? Qualified for the NBA as a junior would skip his senior year. He opted to stay in Indiana, and when he finally arrived in Boston, the Celtics looked nothing like their championship selves. With consecutive losing seasons, Bird then single-handedly caused the biggest turnaround ever seen in the NBA at the time. Boston improved their record from the season before by 32 wins. Damn. Finished with 61 wins and 21 losses. Oh my God. Although his arch-rival Magic Johnson had an impressive season and won the title with the Lakers, Bird was named the Rookie of the Year with the average mm. of 21.3 points, 10.4 rebounds, and 4.5 Rookie assists. of the Year. He averaged he a double-double. Double. And first-team All-NBA. And even... He made first-team All-NBA as a rookie? Finished God. fourth in the MVP voting. And proved Damn. he can transform a mediocre team into a great one all by himself. A new green dynasty. After Bird's rookie year, the Celtics had a busy offseason. Legendary Red Auerbach worked his magic and brought two new faces to Boston that would form one of the biggest dynasties in NBA history. Auerbach robbed Golden State by sending them the first and 13th pick in the 1980 draft in exchange for center Robert Parrish and the third pick, which became Kevin McHale. Along with the newly formed Big Three, the Celtics also had an all-star point guard, Nate Tiny Archibald, young and athletic forward Cedric Maxwell, and a few well-integrated role players. Dude, I have no idea who these players are. I feel like I've heard of Robert Parrish before, but I, like, like my, I'm, I wasn't even born, bro. That made the team complete. The head of the snake was, of course, he, Larry Bird, who was second in MVP voting 
en route to a league-leading 62-20 record. The Celtics avenged the loss to the Sixers from the previous year, and after a tough seven-game series in the Eastern Finals, they were in the NBA Finals once again. There they would be okay. met by the Houston Rockets, led by prime Moses Malone, who was arguably the best center in the league at the time. He looks Malone scary as fuck, three and 16 in the series. But the Celtics were too good of a team and would win the title with four Damn. games. Damn! Oh! Six. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. The Celtics were too good of a team. Look at that and shit. Win the title. But he put him in a headlock. Oh, my God. Batista bone. With four games to two. Bird averaged 15 points, 15 rebounds, and seven assists for the series. But the finals MVP went to Cedric Maxwell led the Celtics okay. in scoring with 18 points per game. And when everybody already saw the new green dynasty, two bad years ensued. Despite Bird's all-around excellence w and Kale's improvement, they once again were the number one seed in the East. Bird was the all-star game MVP, but Philadelphia retaliated for a close defeat in the Eastern Finals. And this time, they won in seven games. The year after, the Celtics regressed even more. Finishing as a third seed, regress swept in the second round by the Milwaukee Bucks. Damn. After that, Coach Bill Fitch resigned and was replaced by Casey Jones, who won eight titles in the Bill Russell era as a player. The change bore fruit. The team was refreshed with the young. Bro, this guy looked just like Austin Reeves, bro. Am I tripping? I know I'm not tripping, bro. Does he? He look like a Austin Reeves clone, like. They got the same build, the same hair, the same face. Shooter Danny Ainge. Oh, this is, they're all the same. It looks just like him. And veteran point guard Dennis Johnson and played the best basketball in the NBA, finishing with a 62-20 and 20 record. After three years of coming in second, Larry Bird finally won the regular season MVP. Yes, sir. Two points, 10.1 rebounds, and 6.6 .6 assists on average. The Celtics steamrolled to the finals, where a known foe awaited. Uh-oh. Because, of course... Magic and the Lakers. Magic! The was decided in Game 7, where Larry Bird led the Celtics to their 15th NBA title. Bird was named the Finals MVP, and he finally had his... Re Damn, he had a... This is Kareem, right? He had to play Kareem and Magic? Venge over Magic, who defeated him in the NCAA Finals of 1979. Hey, what a circle, season, bro. Full circle Celtics moment. were even better in the regular season. Bird repeated as MVP, and McHale repeated as the sixth man of the year. They got to the finals again with the same opponent. After the Celtics won game one. Oh my god. Bro, to I love pictures like these, bro. Like it just looks so cool. Like the like like look look at the like the vibes, bro. Strictly basketball. You don't you don't see cell phones out and people flashing diamonds and, and wearing like skirt men wearing skirts on their damn shoulders and like bro, like this seemed like such a good time to be a sports fan. In a game that was dubbed the Memorial Day Massacre. It seemed like the Celtics were going to dominate the Lakers and repeat as champions. However, the Lakers had other plans, and especially Kareem was determined to defeat the Celtics. Kareem averaged 25.7 points, 9 rebounds, and 5.2 assists. Only 9 in six rebounds? Games. Larry Bird has better stats. Shooting. And the Lakers have finally won the NBA Finals against the Celtics for the first time in nine tries. 1986, the greatest Celtics team ever in the pinnacle of Bird's career. Damn. After the finals, That's loss, my mom was Auerbach wrong. made another clever move. He traded Cedric Maxwell to the Clippers for Bill Walton, once one of the most talented centers in the league, who accepted the role of a sixth man on the Celtics. While Kevin McHale moved to the starting lineup, the Celtics won 50 out of 51 home games that year. Damn. Which is a record that still stands and likely they only will lost never be broken. One home Larry game? Bird experienced the absolute peak of his game and basketball brilliance in 85 86. He deservedly won another MVP and became the only player other than Wilt and Bill Russell to win the award in three straight seasons. The 85 86 season broke several games that. Yeah, not even LeBron didn't do that. Jordan didn't do that. Who did they just say the other people that did it? Award in three straight seasons. The 85 8 for other than Wilt and Bill Russell. Wilt Chamberlain and Bill Russell and Larry Bird, bro. Why don't we talk about them as some of the best to ever do it? Win the award in three straight seasons. That's not the easy to do. Season birthed several games. I mean, I could do it if I tried. Basketball man. genius of Larry Bird, and most notable I'm kidding. is the left-handed game. Before the game, left-handed Bird surprised his teammates and journalists by saying that he would shoot the whole game with his left hand because he wanted to motivate himself for a relatively meaningless regular season game. How much did he score? Just 47 points, 14 rebounds, 11 assists with a game-winning shot, and 20. What the? Fuck?
Whoa, with his left hand? Or just 47 points, 14 rebounds, 11 assists. With he did this all. He he did better than what he did with his right hand. That boy put up 47 points. He had a triple double, 14 re You know how weird it is to do things with your left hand, bro? Y'all can't even wipe your own ass with your left hand, you feel me? So imagine, like, playing professional basketball and then doing all this. They said he hit the game-winning shot, too. God damn. With a game-winning shot and 22 points scored with his left hand out of sheer boredom and fun. But was he shooting it? Mobile games are or was he just big. doing a bunch of layups? Fun. And those are the reasons why he was called Larry Legend. Apart Larry Legend! He a career-high 60 points on the Atlanta Hawks earlier in the season. Almost everything he put up toward the basket went in. And he got into such a zone that the Hawks bench mm -hmm. jumped off their chairs and cheered. Yeah, Hawks I remember that. received hefty penalties from the Hawks coach, Mike Fratello. Throughout the game, the commentator... They got penalized because they were so hyped to see Larry go crazy. ...noted that what he was watching was the biggest shooting exhibition in basketball history. But he had NBA the player time, fans of him. It truly was. The Celtics won 67 games in the regular season and lost just one game in the playoffs on their way to the finals. There, they would be greeted by the Twin Towers of Houston, Ralph Sampson and Hakeem Olajuwon who defeated the Lakers in the West Finals. But nobody could touch the Celtics that season, who were one of the most talented teams ever assembled. Bird was two rebounds and three assists shy of averaging a triple-double in the Finals. Damn. He deservedly won his second Finals MVP. Final years, injuries, and the dream team. Dude, look how old he looks, bro. God, and he was still killing it. In 1987, the Celtics had a very difficult season. Their number two pick, Len Bias, tragically passed away after the draft. And they What the fuck? What happened to him? He suffered many injuries during the season and the playoffs. Larry Bird was too good. That's, still... that's like sad. He, he was number two overall pick and then he passed away. He didn't even get to play. Advanced that's to crazy. Finals. After two seven game series against the Bucks and the Bad Boy Pistons, where Bad Bird boy made one of the most legendary plays and stole the inbounds pass from Isaiah Thomas that won a crucial game five for the Celtics. And in the finals again, it was the Lakers for the third time in four years. Because LA was much more rested coming to the finals, the Celtics did not have enough gas in the tank to stop the fast paced showtime. Bird delivered another 24, 10 and five for the series 24, 10, it wasn't five. good enough and magic got the best of him once again oh, next year, god bird had maybe one of the best statistical years i can see why they're a rivalry bro points on 50 40 and 90 shooting a feat he achieved the previous year 50, as well 40, proving 90. that he's the best shooter who ever played at the time the celtics reached the conference finals but it would be their last hurrah as the pistons finally got over the hump and managed to beat them in the offseason, Bird sustained a severe back injury from chopping wood back home in Indiana. He was one of the best. That, that's such like a, like a white guy. <laughs> he was chopping wood and, and, and got injured? After putting yourself through all that you do from chopping wood, that's how you get injured? A Larry Legend, you did. Basketball dig? players in the world who had millions of dollars, but he was still the hick from French Lick. He chopped his own wood when he needed to, and I respect him even you more. You gotta respect that, that exactly. Injury and surgery on both Achilles tendons caused him to miss almost the entire 88 89 season. Damn, that boy was damn near Wolverine. However, even debilitated, Bird was better than most players in the league, and despite needing to stretch for more than two hours to be able to run. He was still very productive. He was named two hours each of the last three seasons, and he still was making. All Dude, I, I I hate stretching for five minutes. Along with some memorable performances, like a game in the 1991 playoffs where he suffered a concussion, but then pulled oh Willis Reed and came back to the game, scored 17 points in the second half, and won the series for the Celtics. Unfortunately, the toll on honestly, LeBron would never, bro. I think I just saw what happened. I think LeBron got poked or something. Like, not even in the eye. I don't know what. Something stupid happened. And then he's, like, crying and, like, out for the, like, couple plays game. It's like, dog. How, how can someone respect you like that? This is why Larry Bird is better, bro. And he ended his career in 1992 when he finally became teammates with his good friend, Magic Johnson. Hey! hey, hey. off into the sunset with the gold in Barcelona, retiring as the best small forward and the best shooter to ever play. Yes, sir. Trash-talking God, top 10 player ever. 
One of the most famous Larry Bird trash talking stories is from the 1986 three point shooting contest when the legend walked into the locker room and asked all the other participants who's coming in who's second. Coming in second ah, that's so went, savage, bro. God, I need to use that line for something. Not a three point contest, but like for something, bro. Switched near every three pointer and won, all without taking his jacket off. Bird would win the three point shooting competition the next two years as well. And before Reggie Miller the came next out, two years? there was no argument who's the best shooter ever. On the 26th of December, 1990, Indiana's Chuck the Rifleman person said he's going bird hunting before the Celtics game. Bird <laughs> replied that he got a Christmas present for him. And while Chuck was on the bench, Bird got the ball in the corner just in front of the Pacers bench. He hit the jump shot, turned to Chuck, and said, Merry effing Christmas. And that's who Larry <laughs> Bird was. Hey, he did trash talk first. He said he's going bird hunting. And how he talked. He was the ultimate competitor, and he had all the skills in the world to back it up. He'd tell players where he would get the ball, what he was going to do, and then do it. And there was uh, nothing they could do to that. stop him. He accused Shmoney. the opposing team of putting a white guy to guard him because he felt that was disrespectful. And if you watch Space Jam, you know that Larry isn't white. He's clear. Bird would drink half the bar under the what? table. Sometimes he'd fight people in the bar as well, and then go to the game the next day and dominate as if nothing happened. Bird was a unique player, and there was nobody like him. Yeah, he's First special, glance, bro. His moves look almost clumsy, far from physically dominant or athletic. He rarely dunked. His vertical was average at best, and he never played exceptionally fast. From the neck down, in basketball terms, he was nothing special. From the neck up until the end of his fingertips, he was pure genius. Genius. There's no doubt that he would be a great player in today's era, where we can see players like Doncic and Jokic dominate the game without great physical talent. Bird was one of the top 10 players who ever played, and one of the best pure shooters ever. He was the best player in the NBA for almost an entire decade, despite the brilliance from Magic and the athleticism of Michael Jordan. Yeah, that's Magic crazy. Johnson said, there will never be another Larry Bird. Never. Yes, sir, man. Hey, honestly, Le top three of all time, bro. Larry Bird, top three of all time. Like, people might look at stats of, like, LeBron and shit. But, Le you gotta, but LeBron's been playing for, what, 20 years or something? He came in as a little 18, 19-year-old. Which, like, give him credit. He still is a top player of all time. But Larry Bird was just something else, you know. He wasn't the most physically gifted. But that boy still got it done, man. Hey, that's the end of the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what other players y'all want to see me react to next. See y'all boys and girls then.